I can't sleep. It's raining outside and I don't want to sleep alone. I want to go sleep with mommy and daddy. That's a great idea. Sleeping with mommy and daddy is much better. Mommy and Daddy are sleeping, but I don't want to sleep alone. I don't want to sleep all by myself. Mommy, Mama, Mommy, Mommy, wake up. Tommy? Hi. Tommy, sweetie, what's the matter? I want to sleep with you. I can't sleep by myself, Mommy. It's raining and I'm scared. And I want to sleep with you and Daddy. Yes, sure, it's Tommy. Come on. Yay! Come on, I'll help you up the bed. Try to get comfy, honey. Yay! This is much better. I can't sleep. I can't get comfy. Much better. Tommy, you're kicking me, honey. Oh. Oh. Nothing like getting woken up with a foot in the face. The perks of sleeping with a toddler. Oh, it's time to get up. Tommy needs to go to preschool. Ooh, wake up, Tommy. Good morning, honey. Of course, he's tired. He was tossing and turning all night and kicking me while he was at it. I know, but he's still our little baby. Ooh, time to get up. Uh, good morning, Daddy. Good morning, buddy. You had a good sleep? I had a really good sleep. All right, buddy. Why don't you go potty and mommy's making breakfast for you downstairs. Your bed is so bouncy. I'm gonna make the bed. Perfect. Let's get some breakfast started. Well, we've got milk, eggs, yogurt, some fruits. Perfect. Come on, Tommy, let's sit in your chair. Okay, sit down. I'm gonna make a little coffee. Oh, there we go. Okay, and we're gonna use some eggs. We'll wash these later. Everything looks so delicious, honey. Thank you so much. This is my favorite breakfast. I'm so glad you guys liked it. Aw, oh, Tracy won some of my eggs. Down, girl, down. You already ate your breakfast. Okay, let me take you out. I love breakfast. Tommy, today in preschool, they're gonna be bringing the baby animals to your classroom. I know, Mommy, I'm excited. All right, buddy, let's go get you dressed for school. Well, mommy gets ready. Come on. I guess everybody liked the breakfast. Let's pick up the table and we'll wash the dishes. But first, we need to pack Tommy's lunchbox for school. Hmm, what should I pack Tommy today? We're gonna pack Tommy a cracker lunchable in this little container. We're gonna put some fruit. Tommy loves pineapples strawberries and blueberries an applesauce and a fruit snack perfect and put everything in the lunchbox ready here tommy i got you an outfit to wear oh okay all my toy soldiers tommy get dressed no playing around sorry i got distracted okay daddy i'm dressed all right tommy get your backpack okay i'm all ready for school now First, let me get some clothes to wear from my closet. Now I need to get ready for the day. I'm gonna put on my headband and wash my face. Dry my face. Great, now I can get dressed. Okay, now I have to brush my hair. Great, now I'm ready to drop off Tommy at school. 
Okay, Tommy, all your friends are here. Have a great day. Thank you, Mommy. Okay, kids, in my class, line up. We're gonna get ready to go inside. One, two, three, four. Tommy. Riley, get off the swing. We're about to start class. Okay. Gracie, sweetheart, don't bother your little sister. She's finally playing quietly. Yes, and she's not a dog, so don't try to tell her to roll over. Fine, I'll go make some more music. Oh. <laughs> Honey, can you tell Carl to come inside? I want him to wash up before dinner. Uh, yeah, actually, he's coming in right now. Hey, guys. What's the matter, Carl? You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? My head kind of hurts a little bit. I was playing outside and I got like real dizzy. Oh no, sweetheart. Go relax on the couch. I'll bring you something to drink. And I'll go take your temperature, okay? Okay, mom. Daisy, could you stop doing that? My head is like exploding. But I'm making music. Gracie, please stop. Let's be mindful. Your brother's not feeling well. Carl, you have a fever, sweetheart. Okay, why don't you just lay down? I'll get you something to drink. You need to get some rest, okay? Here, let's take off your shoes and I'll wrap you up with the blanket. Are you cold? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like shivery. P.U. Ew, stinky. Here, sweetie, just lay down and watch some TV. I'll bring you some dinner, okay? You can eat dinner right here on the couch. Thanks, Mom. What's the matter, Carl? You look just fine. Are you faking it? Do you have to do the dishes tonight or something? No, Gracie, I'm not feeling good. Now, don't bother me. Well, you don't look sick at all. I think there's some funny business going on. Mom, Gracie's bothering me. I'm trying to get some rest. Gracie, please leave Carl alone. He doesn't feel good. He has a fever. Now, wash your hands because we're going to have dinner. Are you okay, champ? Do you have any other symptoms? Does your belly hurt? Are you coughing? Do you have a sore throat? I don't know, Dad. I just feel funny. Here, why don't we put some TV for you? Here, Carl, I made you some mac and cheese, a corn dog, your favorite Capri Sun, and some chips. Oh, and a little cupcake. Yum! Thank you, Mom. Come on, Gracie. Come sit down for dinner. But that's not fair. I want to sit on the couch like Carl and get a little tray, too, and watch TV while I eat my dinner. Not today, sweetheart. He's not feeling well. You need to sit down with us at dinner. Here you go, sweetheart. Some meatballs and broccoli. That's not fair. I want to eat mac and cheese and a corn dog like Carl. I don't even like broccoli. Hmm. Mmm. Good night, Gracie. Good night. Good night, Carl. I hope you feel better. Okay, Mom. Good night. Are you okay, Carl? What's the matter? Look! They're everywhere! They're even on my legs and my toes! What's happening to me, Mom? Carl, you're covered in polka dots! What's going on with me, guys? Am I gonna be okay? Uh, don't worry, sweetheart. You're gonna be just fine. You just have the chicken pox. The chicken who? Oh, okay. My friend Roger, he, he had it last year. It's totally normal. Your mom had it as a kid, and so did I. But you'll be fine in no time. It's just really important that you don't scratch, okay? As itchy as those spots will get. Now, I just have to figure out who's gonna stay home with you tomorrow. I need to go to work. Uh, I'll call Grandma. I'm sure she can come be with you. She's an expert with chicken pox. Me and my siblings all had it as kids. Carl got chicken pox from a chicken? I don't understand. We don't even have any chickens around here. You're just gonna have to stay home because the chicken pox are really, really contagious. Okay, Mom. Now let's try to go back to bed. Grandma will come in the morning. Come on, Gracie. Let's go back to sleep. I want to have the chicken pox too. Oh, no, you don't. This is not fun. Thank you so much, Mom, for coming to help out. I have a huge meeting at work and... Don't you worry, sweetheart. You know I'm the expert with chicken pox. Uh, thanks. Call me if anything. Oh, you know, the kids are in great hands. I know. I'll see you later. Grandma! Granny! Hello, my little angels. Now, Carl, do you know how you heal those chicken pox? No. With lots of love and care. 
Now why don't you go sit on the couch and watch your favorite show? I'll make you some delicious pancakes. That sounds like a good idea, Grandma. Hello, my little Gracie. Now why don't you go play quietly? We need to let Carl get lots of rest. Can I also get some pancakes? Yes, you can. Yum! Here you go, Carl. I made you pancakes and a delicious berry smoothie. Thanks, Grandma. You're the best. Granny, can I get a fruit smoothie too in a special cup and sit next to Carl? I'm sorry, Gracie. Your mommy only had enough berries for one smoothie. But you can have some pancakes and a little juice. But you have to come sit here with me. We have to let Carl relax. Why is everyone saying that? That's not fair. I want to have chicken pots too so I get the special treatment and extra love and care from Granny. Granny, do you want to play with my dollies? Or maybe we can build like a, a hair salon out of cardboard. You know how much I love to play with you. But to Today, I'm here to take care of Carl because he's not feeling good. But when I come back, we can definitely do all that stuff. Oh man, Carl gets all the attention again. Grandma, I can't stop scratching. This is terrible. I don't know what to do. I'm so itchy. I can't stop scratching. <laughs> I have an idea. A nice oatmeal bath will make you feel better. Thanks, Grandma. This should make you feel much, much better. Oh, it does, Grandma. Thanks. I want to have a warm bath with that oatmeal whatever. Hmm. Gracie, can I have some privacy, please? Oh, lunch time, guys. Here you go, Gracie. This is for you. For my little sick baby, here you go. All of your favorite things. Thanks, Granny. You really are making me feel much better. Come on, Gracie, baby love. Eat your food. If you want, next time you come over, we can make some cookies. I have a perfect idea. Does that feel better? Yes, Granny, thanks. I think I'm gonna take a little nap. There, there. My mommy left her lipstick and it's red. I'm gonna give myself some spots and Granny's gonna give me that extra special treatment and an oatmeal bath and everything. Perfect. It worked perfectly. Granny, I don't feel very good. What's the matter, Gracie Pants? I don't know. I just all of a sudden started feeling... Not feeling well anymore. I think I need an oatmeal bath and a special lunch and also some ice cream. And I want a back rub. Let me take a look. I've never seen square chicken pox before. Oh, would you look at that? It's coming off with my finger. Gracie. Mm. Oh, look, it looks like I'm feeling much better. They were probably just temporary spots. Gracie, sweetie. It's not very nice to lie, now is it? I'm sorry, I just, I just, I'm jealous because Carl's getting all the attention. My sweetheart, but he's sick and I need to take care of him. Your mommy brought me here for that. You know I love you. Mm, sorry, Granny, that was not nice of me. Oh, Gracie, why don't we sit down and play a board game, okay? Okay, I'll just wipe off the sticky lipstick. Oh, so it was lipstick, huh? Oopsies. I am so glad I'm over the chicken pox. That was so boring. So what do you want to do first now that you're all healed? I want to go to the park. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning, Gracie. Ready to go to daycare? Whoa. Oh, sweetheart. Look. <gasps> Are these the real chicken pox? They are. I'm sorry. Well, at least now that you're getting them, you'll be done for the rest of your life. Yeah, I got that chicken pox. I got the chicken pox. Yoo-hoo! I have my very own chicken pox. Can you call Granny so she can come stay with me and take care of me and make me special breakfast, make me special lunch, give me a little back rub and put cream on and give me a oatmeal bath? Yep, you got it. Did someone call for Granny? So we have another case of the chicken pox, right? So what would you like to do first? I would really, really want a special smoothie, pancakes, and an oatmeal bath. And then I want a back rub. You got it, Gracie Pants. Let's go. 